This is part two of section 8.1. We're now going to be talking about finding percentages of things. There are two ways to do this. Your book talks about the percent equation all the time. And it says, if A is P percent of B, then you have this formula. A equals P times B, and P, your percent, is going to be written as a decimal. This is the one it uses all the time. Now, the another way of solving these is to use the percent proportion. And honestly, I find that most people like this better, but you're most likely to see it written like this. The percent over 100 equals the part over the whole. You fill in the pieces you have, you cross multiply and solve. The difficulty here is that it's sometimes difficult to determine which is the part and which is the whole. It's not always the larger number and the smaller number. So if we use keywords, we can change part over whole to is over of. Now, occasionally you'll have something written in past tense, so it will say was instead of is, but you won't have any trouble with that, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work these problems and I'm going to work them both ways so that you can make up your own mind as to which you like better, okay? So what is 16% of 90? First of all, we're gonna figure out which pieces we have. We have, okay, we have the percent. We're given P equal to 16, so that's our P, or the percentage, depending on which one we're gonna use. What is, well, what is P percent of B? Notice the word of, the word of. So B is going to be this. Okay, and we are looking for A. So if I use the formula we have, the percent equation, A equals P times B. So A equals the percent, and up here the percent needs to be written as a decimal. So 16% is 0 0.16 times B, which is 90. So this is 90 times 0.16, 14.4. So 14.4 is 16% of 90. Now let's do this using the percent proportion. Okay, the percent, because this is over 100, we do not need to convert it to a decimal because really that's all we've done here is we take the percent and divide it by 100 to get 0.16. Same thing's happening here, but I'm just gonna do 16 over 100. This is always 100 equals is, is is the part we're missing, so I'm gonna put an X there of 90 is over of. Then to solve this, we cross multiply. You get 100x equals 16 times 90 is 1440. Divide by 100 and you get that x equals 14.4. So you get the same answer no matter what. Okay. So let's do eight is 14% of what? So this time we have the is, that's our A. We have the percentage and we are missing B. So if we plug this into the percent equation, we have eight is equal to 0 0.4 times B. And to solve this, I would need to divide both sides by 0 0.4. Okay, and eight divided by 0 0.4 is 20. So eight is 40% of 20. Now, if you're going to use the percent proportion instead, we have the percent over 100 equals is over of. And up here, we were missing the is, now we're missing the of. We still cross multiply to get 40x is equal to 800. Divide both sides by 40. 
and we get that x is equal to 20. So we get the same answer there as well. Okay. So now I'm just going to, to work it using the percent equation. You've seen the percent proportion a couple of times and you feel free to use this as much as you want to. 32%, that's our P, of what, or our of is B, of what number is 51.2. So we have 51.2 is equal to 0 0.32 times B. Divide both sides by 0 0.32. And you will get B is equal to, you get 160. So 160, 32% of 160 is 51.2. Here, 18 is what percent of 90? So we're missing the percentage this time. 18 is, well, our is is A, so that's A. What percent of 90? That is our B. By the way, the word of often indicates a multiplication. So percent of 90 is percent times 90, which is the equation we've been talking about. So this is 18 equals 90 times the percent. Divide both sides by 90 and you get 0 0.2. Now we're asked for the percentage, so and this is in decimal form, so we need to switch it back over to a percent. So this is, moves over here, and you get 20% as your answer. One more of these. What percent of 75 is 0 0.6. Again, we're missing the P. Is, is A, of, is B. So A equals P times B. 0 0.6 is equal to 7.5 times P. If we divide both sides by 7.5, Point six divided by 7.5, we get 0 0.08 is equal to P. Switch it back to a percent by moving this over here. And so we get 80, no, sorry, 8%, 8%.